disclaimer. Processes performed in this video are solely based off of my own experiences in real life and research. Please do not use this video as an instructional tool to help you in your own writing. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, it's Belle, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would bring you guys along with me to go to the Jorvik Sables bi-monthly auction. This is a 100% humane <laughs> auction where any horses that aren't sold are simply kept in the barn until the next auction. So I feel a lot more comfortable going to these than for example a slaughter auction because I find those really really difficult to go to. But today we have a little bit of a list so I'm just going to run you through that really really quick. Kate wants to get a horse she can use for western lessons, she wants to get a couple new ponies for the children's lessons program, and she wants to get a couple horses that she can use for advanced students who want to start showing in higher levels. So that's pretty exciting. I am not planning on getting a horse. I've, I'm bringing my lesson horse fund, but I don't really have the time or the energy, especially as I'm going to be overseeing all of the horses that she gets. So it's going to be a pretty busy couple months for me, but let's just get going. So we looked at the horses online before we decided to go and the first one we saw was this Arabian man that we thought would be perfect for our more advanced adult lessons. Then we had this adorable American paint gelding who I absolutely fell in love with which we thought would be good for western lessons. We also saw this absolutely gorgeous Appletech mare, but she bucked a rider off at a show, so didn't have much interest on her. Then this adorable Welsh pony, who had a lot of interest, so we weren't expecting anything from this one. Then the most adorable pony I've ever seen. He was a rescue, and we all just absolutely fell for him, like, immediately. So the first horse to come out was the Arabian mare and she was just as gorgeous in person. She was a little bit malnourished and a little bit under muscled but that's something that can be fixed. Vet checks will be undergone obviously but from what we could see she seemed pretty healthy, no visible problems, no limps, no lameness but she was the most expensive horse for sure. Then was the adorable American paint gelding. Oh my god, I was just in love with this horse. I was really tempted to push Kate out of the way and bid on him myself, but I didn't. 
He was absolutely perfect, so we assumed that bids would be getting quite high, but fortunately for us, this area of Jorvik isn't very western oriented, so we were able to get him for an absolute steal. So a little while after that, the Akultek came out. She was really, really gorgeous, and we were kind of expecting to have to fight our way a little bit, but surprisingly, due to her previous problems with throwing that rider off, she had practically no interest. We were kind of like starting to wonder if everyone else knew something we didn't, so we bid on her. None of our horses were showing up for a little while until this boy came out. Oh my gosh, he is one of the cutest horses I've ever seen and we could immediately just see him being perfect in the lesson program. Now unfortunately, since he's a rescue, they don't really know much about his background, his lineage, but from just looking at him we could tell that he was a very kind-hearted horse, he just had those kind of eyes, so we got him for a really good price again. There was nothing that interested us for a while until this pony came up. Oh my goodness, she was absolutely beautiful. Now, bids surprisingly started pretty low because it was quite late on in the auction, but she still had a lot of interest, so we were feeling pretty defeated. That was until she spooked at a man in the audience and the bids just absolutely came to a sliding halt. Now, we're not too worried about this. We don't have a lot of male presence at our barn. And if we do, we can work it through with her or simply avoid it. We weren't too worried about this, so we got her for an absolutely incredible price. Alright everyone, so it's pretty much the end of the auction. Kate has just gone to fill out all the paperwork that she needs to fill out. So I'm just going to stay and watch the rest of the horses and then we're going to get them all loaded and get them home. It's going to be a long, long day. And that is truly what I plan to do. Just get all the other horses loaded and go home to sleep in my nice warm bed without 4k <laughs> gone from my pocket. But this horse had other ideas, so um... This is Merlin, <laughs> my new horse. He is a 7 year old Pasofino and I love him. They don't really know much about his history or anything, but I don't even care. I love this horse so much, and I can't wait to share him with you properly. So there are hopefully going to be videos coming out in the future to kind of document our experience. He has a lot of work to be done, that's for sure, but it doesn't even really matter. He's just so great. <laughs> So as we arrived home, it turned out that we had miscalculated how many available stalls we had and there were no free pastures where he could be on his own, so I had to put him in the west paddock, which is not a bad paddock, it's a nice one, There's, it's a nice area, but a lot of the dressage girls at our barn keep their Lusitanos here. Lusitanos are very sweet horses. But if you could have a snobby horse, that's who they would be. And these particular horses that are in here are kind of known to be a little bit aggressive with other horses. So I was a bit nervous. Oh my god, he's made some friends. Hey Brady. That's a really, really, really sweet horse called Brady. I know the girl who owns him. Alright, if I just stand here, will he come over? Oh hey. Is he actually gonna... Hi, buddy. 
Alright everyone, that about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching if you did. It means so, so much to me. Uh, I'm, as you can see, I'm here with Merlin. I've had him for about two weeks now and we are getting along great. <laughs> the other horses are doing really well too. I have been put in charge of the American Paint Horse and the Welsh Pony and I'm overseeing all the rest of them so I'm doing bits and bobs for all of them but those are the two that I'm mainly taking charge of. It has been a busy couple weeks to say the least but they're all doing really well and they're settling in amazing. So if you did enjoy this video please feel free to give it a like, maybe even comment, tell me your favourite part, that would mean so much to me, I love interacting with you guys. So yeah, oh my god, I hate when people say that, I'm sorry, that was so annoying, but like, I know it is like the best part, is like talking to people. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna put in a couple of photos of Merlin, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye!